Okay, continuing on the yellow slice, we are going to be looking at rejecting unreasonable claims based on average statistics. Now this is one of these kinds of math problems that often cause my students lots of stress. When it talks about a mean, we would be very happy if they just gave us the values and we could just simply calculate the answer. But in this case, and that is not what we have. We have the answer. We have the mean of $39,000. What they're going to do is to ask us a number of questions about the kinds of numbers that were on the list that produced this 39000 as an average. So the way that we approach this is more about what we don't know than about what we do know. So let's go through and take a look here at how we might deal with this problem. First of all, what we do know. Well, first of all, what we do know is that an average is a middle value. It may not be exactly in the middle, though, that this 39,000 is somewhere in the middle between a minimum value here and a maximum value over here. But we don't know if it's exactly in the middle. We don't know particularly if any values on the list are exactly at the average. We don't know if there are an equal of number of values above or below this average, and we certainly don't know anything about any other time frames than the one that's given to us. So let's go back through these uh, claims that they give us point for point, and then let's just use a little bit of reasoning plus what we already know here uh, to help us work this problem. This uh, has frustrated many students in the past, so don't feel bad if you feel some frustration on here. Now notice that we're talking about last year. So if this 39,000 is last year, any problem in there that does not deal with last year is immediately going to be wrong. Look at this one here. This was about this year. So the 39,000 has nothing to do with that. So immediately we know to not check this one. But let's go through and look at all the others. First of all, last year fewer than half had a starting salary of 39,000 or less. Well, we can't know that. Because remember as you look at the uh, kind of my graphic here. All we know is that something on the list is less than 39,000 and something on the list is bigger than 39,000. What we don't know is uh, that fewer than half had a starting salary of 39,000 or less. We simply don't know that. Let's skip it and go on. Last year some of their clients had a starting salary of 39,000 or above. Well, that's clearly true because remember, once again, you have to have something on the list which is bigger than the 39,000. Otherwise, 39,000 couldn't be an average because an average means a value somewhere in the middle. So for sure, we're going to check that one. Now last year, all of the clients had a starting salary of more than 36000 Well, that couldn't uh, necessarily be true because if that were the case, then you wouldn't, uh, we don't know where they're going to be. Uh, we don't know that that is true at all. There's nothing in there that will tell us that. This year we said we we're going to skip. Last year at least one of their clients had a starting salary of exactly 39000 Well, we don't know that because that 39000 is an average. We don't know that any of them were actually at that value. So we clearly skipped that one. And probably that's all that we will check. Let's go ahead and check it. Now that one's good, but they can come up with some different varieties. So let's do a yet another one of those. 
Well, in this case here, it says we're talking about last month, and on the average, uh, these patients lost seven pounds. So once again now, as we take a look at our list of values here, uh, and this time it's not 39,000, it's seven. That's our average. And once again, all we know is that something on the list is less than seven. Something on the list is more than seven. We don't know if any values on the actual list were exactly seven. We don't know if there's an equal number of values above and below that seven. And we certainly don't know anything about any other time frames. So what we'll have to do then is just go down through whatever they tell us, and they can randomize this somewhat, and just see what they say, and then go through our basic uh, reasoning process as we did before. So once again, if we're talking about last month, certainly that has nothing to do with this month, so skip that one for sure. Last month, at least one lost exactly seven. Well, certainly not, because remember that uh, our first one of our first rules over here is that we don't know if any values are exactly at the average. So we certainly don't have that. Um, back to our list then. We can see here then uh, the number of clients who lost seven pounds or less was equal to the number of their clients who lost seven pounds more. Well, we'll ignore that uh, immediately once again because we do not know that there are equal numbers uh, above and below the average that uh, is not true. A few big values here could outweigh a number of small values over here. So we certainly don't know that. Uh, last month all lost seven pounds or more. Well no, because if they did that then all the numbers would be bigger than seven. Consequently nothing would be less than seven. So seven couldn't be the average and we can see here on this next one, now this one's tricky here. Last month, at least one lost less than three. Well, we can see here that uh, to lose less than three is not required. It's not required. Uh, all we have to have is something on there that's less than seven. So if even if they lost four or five, it would be less than seven. Uh, so we don't check that either. <laughs> In this case, it looks as if we don't check any of them. So let's try that. And once again, Alex is happy. Be careful on this one. This is a stress producing problem. And so travel carefully and practice, practice, practice.